Howdy, howdy, folks, and welcome back to the party. Today, a clap car revival. We're going to be taking some of this Evercoat body filler, going over the rest of the stuff like I tried to last week, uh, but I undermixed it and had a little bit of a problem. So, I'm going uh, to got everything out. I'm going to hit it with the, the sand and drum a little bit, knock, uh, knock what I need to down, and we're just going to cover right back over it and hopefully get to the primer stage today. So, I'm going to go ahead and dig into it and get to work. Doing small patches, level up just a little bit, nothing crazy. Let it dry all the way. And then, uh, try to smooth it up the best we can. Once it's all there, not looking the greatest, but you know, so we can get it right. So we skipped around a little bit. Y'all don't only need so much footage of me sanding, but I've got hours and hours of trying to get this as straight as I can, you know, knocking it, building it, and knocking it, just really learning. But uh, I've gone over a couple certain spots with some glazing putty just to, to fill in little nicks and things like that. Now I'm gonna hit it with some 180 and 320, and then we're gonna work on the rest of this coming off. Get it ready for primer. Alrighty guys, so we are finally about done fooling with this roof here. I'm going to put the primer base and clear down today. Just make this black. I'll leave the rest of it alone. Um, as I dug into this, I thought when I dig in the rest of this, there's going to be so much stuff under there. It's going to take an unreasonable amount of time to finish. And I just, I can't do that in my driveway. I need a garage where I can 
really strip this thing down, have it in pieces, and afford to leave it in pieces over a long period if I want this perfect. So we're getting over perfect and we're getting to good enough. So I can go back to driving it and move on to something else that I just got. Um, so everything's good to go. Uh, still got a few, you know, pinholes and little things in it. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be a whole lot better than it was when we started. So we're going to get into the paint now. Alrighty folks, so we got ourselves a couple layers of primer on it now. We're going to let that cure so we can move on to the paint. It's definitely not as good as it could be. I really wish it were better. I wish I would have held off on this project. But we're making it as right as we can for now. Alright guys, I appreciate y'all suffering through that with me. Uh, this uh, didn't turn out great. Barely would say it turned out good. Um, I've got solvent pops all over. I've got orange peel, which that could be wet sanded, but we're not going to do that because you can still see spots of the filler. You can still see, you know, little scrapes, little things like that that just it did not did not go the way that I wanted them to. Doing this in the sun was a horrible idea. Unfortunately, this thing is too wide fit this uh, dilapidated shed that I've got out back so the only option is really to do it in the sun or get up real dang early and try to beat the sun and that's just that's just not happening so you know we made it a lot better 
I'd like to dig back into it, but really all I've done is given myself more work for the future. If I'd known what I know now, I probably wouldn't have even touched it yet. But we learned a lot, and that's that, that's that's what we're after here. So, you know, I need to wrap this up so I can go back to driving it, and we can dig into this little wagon that I'm going to introduce you all to soon. So, thanks for sticking around. Don't forget, like and subscribe if, that's, uh, if you like what you see here. And I'll see you all next time.